Hello, everyone, and welcome to another day of Virtual College Tour Week. Um, this afternoon, we are so excited to have Trocare College here with us, and we're going to get right started with it. And uh, I'm happy to introduce you to Molly Bolero, Dean of Admissions at Trocare College. So Molly, you could go right ahead and take it away. Thank you so much, Haiti. Hi, everybody. We're so excited to have you join us for our virtual college tour. Of course, we'd much rather see you in person, but this is an exciting opportunity for all of us to get to know each other. So we'll start things off with a little agenda of what the day is gonna look like and well day, what our next hour is gonna look like. Uh, so next slide. We'll be starting with an overview about the college and um, I'm gonna give you a little introduction to who we are, what we're all about. And then we'll talk a little bit about our academic programs we will also talk about um, our student life. We'll talk about academic support services. Um, we'll also have some time to answer your questions because we'd love to hear from you and make sure that we are on top of all of the things that you're wondering about. Next slide. And of course, we'll also be talking about applying to TROCARE and financial aid. So we're gonna start off with just a little video that I have for you, next slide. I'm gonna share my screen so all of you can see it. All right. Molly, is there sound on this? We, we can't really hear that. Um, okay, um, let me, let me look it's this up. Right okay. All right, sorry you guys didn't have the music there, but you didn't miss any words, I promise you. We just wanted to give you a chance to see some pictures of campus. And as I give the overview, I'm just going to have us go through some of the different spaces we have at TROCARE. So you'll get a chance to see what our buildings look like. And hopefully one day we can show you them in person. Um, so to start things off, I just wanted to let you know that TROCARE was established in 1958 by the Sisters of Mercy. We're a small school. Our total enrollment is just about 1,200 students. And our small size allows us to offer a really personalized educational experience for students. You will walk down the hallway and know just about everybody you pass, from administrators to faculty to your classmates. Um, you're not gonna find large 400 seat lecture halls at TROCARE. Our student to teacher ratio is just 12 to one. So an average class size that you can expect is about 19 students. And this provides what I think is really an optimal learning environment, particularly if you like those smaller interactions. Our students have quick and easy access to their professors and they get the opportunity then to really establish mentoring relationships early on in their programs that carry on throughout their time at TROCARE. And then of course, really do serve them when they go to look for jobs and maybe need letters of recommendation um, for people to assist them in that next step after graduation. Speaking of programs, we offer about 20 different academic programs for students to choose from. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Next slide. Our programs are career oriented and emphasize hands-on learning. That enables our students 
to be presented with a wide array of options from clinical experiences to internship experiences, tons of different ways for them to really dive into their academic program. And those out of classroom options are all over Western Europe, places like the Catholic healthcare system, Kaleida Healthcare System, ECMC, and just really countless other labs, clinics, businesses, restaurants, hotels, um, pretty much anywhere you can think of in Western New York, we have had TROCARE students doing internships or clinical placements. Our students juggle intense coursework, clinicals, and internships, and of course, their personal lives. And I like to say, I don't believe that TROCARE education is a passive one. Our students are definitely engaged and you'll hear more opportunities of ways that they can get engaged when you hear from Lauren, our director of student engagement. Um, and they're very busy. I'm not sure how they have time to sleep sometimes, but I think that they really are enjoying every minute of their time while they are at TROCARE. Uh, next slide. Still more impressive is the community and the supports that are available for our students. Like I said, we're small, so we have lots of resources that are able to help our students. Um, more recently, our Palisano Learning Center and also our Student Advisement and Student Services offices have undergone a transformation and a renovation, um, both by ways of services, resources, and the actual physical spaces. Uh, we've reorganized the structure and renovated the spaces of these offices along with our classrooms with students in mind. So we tried to um, develop these areas to be conducive to learning and group work and um, have state-of-the-art technology so that you're just getting the best education possible. Next slide. Um, these areas are exclusively dedicated to support our students from the moment you step on campus until you go to graduation. And also our student academic advisors will work with our students exclusively during their time making sure that they're on track to graduation on time, um, fulfilling course requirements, and also getting connected with the different resources that they need to be successful. Next slide. Um, also, we do have, oh, I don't know what happened there, sorry guys. <laughs> we also have um, a number of different um, uh, support services that are available um, with regards to career services. We have one-on-one -on -one career counseling uh, that can prepare students for job searches. Um, it also gives them job readiness workshops and career fairs so that we can put employers right in front of our students. Um, and we help them with writing their resumes and uh, prepping for interviews and different things like that so that they are ready. Next slide. I also wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about our Mercy Roots. I told you at the beginning of this that we were founded by the Sisters of Mercy and what does exactly that mean for students? Um, our students, faculty and staff are challenged every day to conduct themselves with professionalism, empathy, respect, civility and dignity. And TROCARE offers an education that prepares our graduates to take their place in the world beyond our walls too. So service learning for our students is also part of that preparation. And I think something that is an invaluable experience for them. The program at TROCARE tries to integrate meaningful community service with instruction and also reflection to enhance the learning experience, teach civic responsibility, and also strengthen our communities. Next slide. All of our students take place in what we call the Mercy Action Project as part of their experience here. We also refer to it as MAP. <laughs> MAP is a co-curricular learning experience where students participate in service within the community that brings the college's mission to everyday life and helps them live that mission. Next slide. I will briefly talk to you a little bit about getting involved, but again, we're gonna save that fun stuff for a little bit later in the presentation, but I did wanna let you know that your TROCARE education extends beyond the classroom into a different and wide array of extracurricular activities. Um, and depending on your interest, there's something for everybody. Um, we make sure that our students are surrounded with academic supports and experiences and have positive social ones as well. Uh, we have food trucks, Halloween parties, international extravaganzas, Build-A-Bear workshops, um, all kinds of different ways to de-stress. And then of course there are different clubs, but I won't talk too much about that. As I mentioned, Lauren will talk a little bit more. Next slide. So I will land here on all of the different programs that I mentioned, 20 to be exact, here at TROCARE. We are divided up into three different divisions. 
there's our Division of Health Sciences, which houses programs like our imaging programs. That's radiologic technology, diagnostic medical sonography, echocardiography. And then of course, we also have our massage therapy program, which is the quickest massage therapy certificate in Western New York. So if you have an interest in massage therapy, you can get it done in 10 months so fast, which is pretty exciting because you can get right out there in the field and start practicing or maybe even open up your own business in massage therapy. And then of course, we have other popular majors like medical assisting and also surgical technology. Next is our Catherine McCauley School of Nursing, which one of my colleagues will get into more depth with you in just a bit. But I wanted to let you know that we do offer uh, nursing at all its different uh, phases. There's the RN program, our Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and then of course, our Practical Nursing program, which is also known as an LPN program. And then last but certainly not least is our Division of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies. And within that, we have programs in data analytics, cybersecurity, healthcare management, um, health information technology, and of course, general studies. So as you can see, we offer so many different programs for students with regards to healthcare, technology, and also different types of businesses. And our programs are run from certificate programs, associates, as well as bachelor's degree here at Trocare. Next slide. So at this time, I'd love to introduce our Associate Director of Admissions at Trocare. Her name is Kelly Govern, and she's gonna talk to all of you a little bit more about our nursing programs because they are the most popular programs at Trocare and they're pretty in depth. So Kelly, I will turn things over to you. Thanks, Molly. Um, so as Molly stated, nursing is one of our uh, biggest programs at the college, and there's a couple different paths forward for students. So if it's all right with everyone out there today, I just wanted to uh, take a second and talk to you about the different ways that you can get where you want to be in our nursing programs. Trocare offers an LPN program, an RN program, and a BSN program. What that means is that there are three different paths for a student to get where they want to be in their ultimate goal of nursing. With that said, there's also the path of taking general studies to prepare yourself for the nursing program, and I'll talk about that. The LPN program at Trocare is designed as a three semester program that allows students to sit for their LPN exam and be working as an LPN in the field three semesters or a year and a half after starting the program. When we're looking at candidates for these programs, we look for candidates that have a high school biology uh, with a grade of 80 or better. We look for students that have um, a strong academic science background, and that's because of the strong anatomy and physiology at the beginning of the program. Sometimes students say, hey, Kelly, I'm a little nervous about my GPA in, in high school. Uh, I'm afraid that I struggled a little bit. So. What we do and what is the most important thing for your path forward is to sit down with your admissions counselor and take a look at your transcripts, find out where your strengths are, find out what you need to work on and, and discover a path forward. Sometimes students may need a semester to take a, a college level biology class in order to prepare for the anatomy and physiology class. And this is designed to help you in that anatomy and physiology because it is the foundation for everything that you do in your nursing program. But it also allows for a student to take some of the other classes, such as college English, general psychology, and take them early on in a semester or early on in your nursing program so that you can lighten your load a little bit once you're in the hardcore nursing coursework. When you're in trying to balance, I have to be at clinical, you can have already worried about your college English class and gotten your papers out of the way. So, in the hierarchy of nursing, so a candidate, as I was saying, could come in as an LPN candidate, prepare for the LPN program, sit for your LPN boards, and then be working as a LPN candidate, or LPN, um, sorry, a licensed LPN, while you're pursuing the RN program. At that point, the RN program would be three additional semesters, 
Um, so from the point of finishing your three semesters of LPN, that would be six total semesters. A student could also choose to come right in to the um, RN program, and that is four semesters. So you would come in, start in nursing, your first semester in the nursing program, you would focus on getting out into clinicals. Uh, you would be working on, um, first semester is basic bedside nursing. You would be learning how to um, transfer patients, how to uh, approach, approach patients, um, basic bedside nursing. Second semester is um, maternal newborn. So you'd be working in a maternal newborn unit. Uh, third semester is pediatric and fourth semester is mental health counseling. Uh, with that said, in every semester of your program in nursing, you are going to be doing um, some level of basic bedside nursing, um, some level of med surge nursing. And then we do offer a BSN program for students that do want to complete and finish the BSN. What we're hearing from New York State and, and all nursing schools is a BSN in 10. What that means is by the completion of your RN program, you'll have 10 years to complete your BSN. Um, hospitals are looking for BSN qualified nurses. Depending on the pace at which you choose to do that, you could do that in an additional year and a half in the program. So that was a whole lot of information. Uh, I'm gonna reiterate again that every one of your admissions counselors will want to sit down with you and come up with a path that's going to be most beneficial to your uh, pursuit of a nursing degree. Sometimes taking a semester or two to get some of your general studies coursework out of the way um, sets the most solid, solid foundation for a successful path forward. Uh, anatomy and physiology is a heavy class to take and to be taking it alongside um, a bunch of nursing classes often makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, TROCARE does set up um, nursing uh, tutors there is opportunities for students to um, receive tutoring care, tutoring services through the Palisano Learning Center. Um, and you get peer tutors, academic tutors, uh, online tutors. So there's a lot of opportunities to help you prepare for your NCLEX exam. Uh, um, sorry, there you go. <laughs> um, another beneficial thing from our RN program, um, employers seek out our RNs. TROCARE is a long-standing nursing program in the Western New York area. Our RNs are employed at all of the local hospitals. And often they, we are approached to say, we're looking for RNs. Do you have graduates, recent graduates that we can have information from? Um, again, this is just a kind of a little top 10 for our nursing program. Uh, I said it a little earlier, but one of the nicest things about the delivery of our program is that clinicals do start right as soon as you're a nursing student. Um, so you can get a feel for if this is where you see yourself. Um, it helps you kind of just prepare for the, the field. Um, we are taking Zoom interviews. Um, we are taking applications still for the fall. Uh, I encourage you, if you are interested in the nursing program, to talk to one of the admissions counselors about your very specific scenario, because everyone has a different path forward in nursing. Uh, we do have a nursing information session coming up next week on June 10th at 6 p.m. You're welcome to join us. You can sign up right on our website. Um, and I hope to see some of you there and look forward to it. Um, I'm going to pass it along now. Danielle, sorry, we can't hear you. No. No. How about now? Yep, perfect. Okay, great, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks for bearing with me, everyone. Um, I'm Danielle Schmidt. I am one of the Associate Directors of Admissions 
at Trocare. Um, I'm also the liaison in the admissions office for our medical imaging program. So I'm going to talk to you today about a top 10 list of things to know and remember about our um, medical imaging program. So if we could go to that slide, um, that would be great. So um, our medical Im imaging programs are okay. another. Danielle, sorry, bear with me one moment. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay, you're all set. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so our medical uh, imaging programs are tr at TROCARE are also um, one of our most popular programs as well. Um, if you go to the next slide, and actually the, the third, perfect, that's great. Um, so I wanna talk about the three programs. So we actually have the three programs in medical imaging, they're radiologic technology, um, and then diagnostic medical sonography and echocardiography. So if we go to the second, number two, and we talk about the radiologic technology program, that's actually our associate's degree program. It's a two-year program. Um, many, we do have many students coming from high school that are really interested in this program. And what the RT program is, is it's an x-ray technician. So if you've ever broken a bone or had to go to um, an orthopedic, you know, they're the, um, the, tech, the techs that are doing um, the imaging for you. So um, with that two-year program, a lot of students are wondering, what do I have to do in order to get into that program? What do I need in high school? Um, which is a great question. And you can really put yourself in a great position um, to be accepted right from high school if you have biology, chemistry, physics, and math. I definitely encourage you to talk to an admissions counselor, reach out early, come in for an interview when you're um, even a junior, uh, just to learn about what do I have to do in my senior year to be ready to come in, in my, um, you know, to, to be ready to start in this program right from high school. Um, if you are interested in the program and maybe you didn't have bio or chemistry or physics um, in high school, that's okay. As Kelly said, with nursing, you can come in general studies and for a year, you can work on all of your general studies classes. The RT program is a really intense program. So, you know, students that do come in and they take a year of general studies and get their, their sciences, get their math, you know, get some of those um, electives out of the way, they have time to focus really on those RT classes in the clinicals. So it's a great, um, you know, there's, there's two great paths for students coming from high school to go through to that RT program. The, the next segue to number three, the DMS and the ECHO programs, those are both one year certifications. So if you're someone that's in the RT program, the DMS and ECHO programs are a great next step for you. They are one year, you can go right into them after graduating with RT. Um, but the really nice thing is that if you are really interested in these programs and maybe, you know, maybe RT isn't what you're interested in, some of our other programs also provide an entry into diagnostic medical sonography and echocardiography. Um, so you can be a nurse, you can be a surgical techno technologist, um, you can be a medical assistant. Um, there's also programs in radiation therapy at other, um, you know, other institutions that provide an entryway in um, occupational therapy, physical therapy. Those are all allied health degrees that provide an entryway into um, diagnostic medical sonography and echocardiography. The difference between the two, we get asked that question a lot. Um, Definitely the, the echocardiography is the sonography of the, the heart and the cardiovascular, the, the, the heart. And the, the DMS is pretty much the, um, the x-ray of everything else, if you wanna put it in a nutshell. So um, in terms of class time with the one year certification, it's pretty much the same. They're both really intense programs. They both require 
um, day clinicals and evening classes. Um, and they also both have a, a summer internship as well. So we like to let people know really early on that it's going to be an intense program. And if you go three years, you will have this, this amazing degree and certification that's going to get you a really incredible job with, with some really high paying potential. Um, so when we talk about number four, which are our clinical semesters and sites, there's clinical required in every semester for all three of those programs. So if you're gonna start into the RT program, you're gonna be out at a clinical site from your very first semester. Um, both programs require summer clinicals as well. And the reason for that is so that our students have enough hours to sit for the exams that they need. And we'll talk about that a little bit further down. Um, sites, our students are working at over 100 different clinical sites throughout Western New York. Um, you know, we have some students that might be from, um, you know, the southern tier, we can work with them. So some students that might be in, um, you know, a northern area, we can work with them. Um, we have uh, sites at all Catholic health, you know, locations, um, Kaleida, we're working with inpatient, outpatient um, sites. So there's just a ton of opportunities. Number five talks about um, what we call our SanoSim software. And this is a really cool um, uh, technology that our students are able to use. And we were able to get that through the James H. Cummings Foundation. And um, we were able to, to get this piece of technology where students can go in and, and essentially do a lab function right on campus and be able to see um, as if they were doing, um, you know, performing an x-ray on someone out at a clinic. So if you, you need some additional lab time and you want to come and kind of work on some of your different um, x-rays, this technology um, has been able to provide that opportunity for students. And we're hoping to, to be able to purchase another one this year to just um, give that opportunity to even more students. So number six talks about those exams that we talked about. So um, there's, different, there's different certifications that you need to be able to practice. Um, you know, New York State requires some, not others. But our students are all prepared, whether they're coming in from the radiologic technology program or one of the certification programs, they're all prepared with enough clinical hours to sit for all of those exams. There's um, exam prep classes that our students take. Um, so what we really want, want students to know is that you are prepared to take these exams when the time comes. Um, our graduates are working all over, just like we have clinical sites all over, our graduates are working all over, um, you know, working at the VA, working at Mercy Hospital right next door, at Sisters, through Kaleida Health, through, uh, through Catholic Health. Um, we're really proud of, of all of our graduates and, and the, the jobs and employment that they've been able to get. Um, number eight, as Kelly said, for nursing, same for um, the imaging programs and all of our programs. We are doing phone and Zoom interviews right now for all interested students. Um, so you can call, you can give us a call, you can apply online, you can actually go online and schedule one of these interviews right through our um, website. Um, you can pick a time, um, you know, during the day and one of our um, counselors will give you a call to talk about, you know, hey, I think I have bio and chemistry, but do I have time to take physics? Should I take it over the summer? We can absolutely help you with those questions. Um, for number nine, you can still apply now. We do have some limited availability for the fall semester. These are competitive programs, um, but we do have some limited availability and we actually are also already accepting applications for fall of 2021. So um, if you're a junior right now who's thinking about maybe coming in for RT, I would tell you apply now. Apply now, that means that your counselor will call you We'll look at what you've already taken and say, hey, you know what? You can add this on next year and be in a great place. Um, and then I think number 10 was our, um, our info night that we have coming up. So we have on uh, Wednesday, June 17th at 6 p.m., we're going to be doing an imaging info night. It will be myself um, and some of the faculty and the program director for the medical imaging programs. Um, so she'll get a little bit more in depth into um, the classes, um, the, the clinicals, and also the opportunities that are available upon graduation. So I think that was all um, for the, the medical imaging programs. And we can head on to the next slide. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle.
So now I'm just going to mention one more um, I guess series of programs that we offer. And uh, we're going to pull up that slide. I'll give everybody just a second. But it has to do with our TROCARE Technology Institute. Um, yeah, there we are. <laughs> so um, before we start the video, I just want to take a couple minutes to say a few words. The TROCARE Technology Institute um, is something that was just formed out at our second location in the Williamsville Lancaster area. And uh, the building itself is right behind Russell's Steaks, Chops, and More off of Transit Road. And it houses our cybersecurity program, data analytics, um, as well as our health information technology, and then also our healthcare management, which is our new bachelor's degree that we have as well. And the building uh, between a grant that we received as well as investment by the college, we put in $1.6 million to have the most beautiful state of the art facility for our students to be able to use. And every time I'm over there, I just am blown away by what we have and what the students have access to. And they really wanted to mirror what students would see in the industry. So if, as they go out into different technology industries, what are the tools, what are the software? what type of hardware are they working with? And we have all of that in the Technology Institute. So our students are ready to hit the ground running when they go out into those technology fields that are so in demand. So we're gonna play a short video so you can see some of it and check it out and then we'll get going. Healthcare are being forced to recruit from outside the region. There's a critical demand for skilled technology workers in Buffalo. It's serious. Employers and sectors from banking to healthcare are being forced to recruit from outside the region. From cybersecurity to data analytics, healthcare informatics, and more. High paying, life changing jobs are out there. But an opportunity like this takes more than hard work. It requires hands-on experience, specialized training, and plenty of support. It takes TROCARE College. For over 60 years, our students have been changing their own lives and proudly contributing to the Buffalo community that they call home. And now we've invested $1.68 million to create the TROCARE Technology Institute. Here, we are offering programs that will help build the skilled workforce Western New York so desperately needs. Our graduates achieve more, like a 96.4% total placement rate and starting salaries of over $60,000 a year on average. They have the opportunity to participate in real world internships and earn the certifications crucial to their future career. We're here to help you succeed. That's why we offer flexible scheduling, including evening and weekend hours. And we've been ranked number one in Western New York for both affordability and return on investment. Are you ready for a career of achievement and a life of purpose? TROCARE College is ready to get you started. Apply now at trocare.edu slash apply. Great. So just a little taste of what the Technology Institute has to offer. And of course, there's so much more to see and we do look forward to the time that we'll be able to do that. Um, so at this time, I believe what's up next is a little bit of information about our academic support services, our TROCARE Opportunity Program, HOP, and of course, uh, say yes, which I know is of great interest to everybody joining us today. And I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Verjan Gordon. He will be talking a little bit about what I just mentioned and certainly also being able to answer any questions that you have. We'll give everybody a second just to transition back to the PowerPoint and we'll get started. Thanks, Verjan. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Great, 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 great. Well, first things first, like I said, good afternoon. Um, I am excited to tell you guys about the Hustle and Learning Center and the Troker Opportunity Program. These two programs are near and dear to my heart, not just because I'm, I'm the director, but because they are two programs that actually help the students tremendously. So let me go ahead and start um, where, start off in, uh, in the PowerPoint. So we're part of Academic Support Services. And like I 
as I run the Possible Learning Center, where we have our peer tutors, professional tutors, and academic coaches. Now, peer tutors are students that are in their senior level at the college, and they help the students transition from high school and get acclimated into Trope Care College. Our professional tutors can be um, actual professors and people who have a tremendous amount of experience with uh, teaching students. Our academic coaches are our SMEs. Those are our subject matter experts. So they're not just um, they're not just uh, professionals in one specific area, but they all they're also professionals in often in specific areas for students uh, to receive the help that they need. Now, when, um, we also have our health science our health science open lab, and that's right next to the Tesla Learning Center. Now, in the center, we have our computer labs where the students can write papers. They do internet research, educational software, and web-based learning. Um, the health sciences lab, that's where Frankenstein molds the students, so to speak. Um, we get students in sometimes we're one-on-one, -on -one. sometimes we're in a group, we're in a group atmosphere, but that's where our our academic coaches and our tutors, that's where they shine. That's where they mold the young minds. And if our, I, I do I I I said so myself. And I don't mean to brag, but uh, some of our peer mentors and our tutors and our active coaches are some of the best around. They really get the best of their students. They care, they take their time and do the things they need to do for our students. So um, hopefully if you guys come aboard, you'll be able to be a part of that experience. Um, let me see here. Some uh, other things that we have is we offer academic programs, related materials and study guides and sub guided um, study guides. Now, these are some of the tools that the academic coaches, they, they help you create those study guides and we give them to the students so they can go ahead and do what they need to do. It's kind of like self-learning and so they can, so can, so can self-teach. So it's actually very, very interesting. I've sat in on many of the, of the tutoring sessions and they really do know what they're doing. So uh, can you guys go ahead and go to the next slide? Okay. So now this is a program that's near and dear to my heart, not just again because I'm the director, but because it actually offers, a, a, offers an opportunity for students who would not have opportunity to come to school. So, and this is the Choker Opportunity Program. Now the Choker Opportunity Program was established in, it was established in 1964, but it was funded in 1965 by Arthur O.E. It was for students who were who were um, academically and economically disadvantaged. So students who didn't have a, who had slight troubles in school and who, who don't, whose families are not really well off, they have a chance to come to Trail Care. Now, what, now the, how, we, how the students are chosen, now we work with admissions who were actually done a great job working with me to get the program off the ground. We, um, we look at their GPAs, we look at their, um, their economic status, and we see who they are and how they are in their life experiences. Um, we don't just go specifically um, off of GPA and economic um, income. We want to see what they've learned, if they've made any mistakes, how have they learned from those mistakes, what have they done, and where they want to go. So we look deep into the student and just see where they want to go and how they feel. Um, some of the things that we, some of the support that we offer, we send our students through a four-week summer program. Our summer program will be starting August third and will be ending August twenty eighth this year. But those students learn math, the reading, writing. We have forms for our students. Now, one form that I will be teaching this semester is a public speaking form. It's how to give the students a little bit of confidence and um, letting them know that you won't you won't just utilize public speaking. Uh, in the classroom, you will be utilizing public speaking throughout your life. So we teach them about how to be comfortable in speaking in front of crowds and, and talking in front of people. Um, I talked about the qualifications, I believe. And at the end of the day, our primary aspect is to make sure that we, the, our students succeed no matter what. Jonathan and I, we direct the students into the directions that they need to go to get what they need done. So if they need if they need special help, we send them to our tutors. If they need help with um with doing the, the class, we send them to advisement, financial aid. Um, we pretty much help them in every shape or form to succeed, and so they can graduate, so they can be employed. Now, um, I saved the best for last. The 
the big kicker about the truck opportunity program is we help with tuition assistance. So we help with about between 90 to 95 percent of their tuition. And if you're accepted to the program, you will be uh, you'll be a part of that. You'll be able to utilize those services. We take care of their scrubs, their books, their fees, and everything else. My motto is we like, we like to bring you in with a zero balance and we like to, have, like to leave with a zero balance. So now all this is to help the students succeed because if they don't have to worry about um, finances or financial aid, or if they don't have to worry about student loans, which we all know is a pain and student loans, you have student loans on the credit, you can't get a house, can't get a car, can't do anything. And those are some of the things that are hurting, that are hurting people in general when it comes to um, in, in the future. So we try to take that out of the equation so the student can do nothing but focus on the studies so they can have success. Um, and I believe that's it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me and I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much. Thank you, Verjan. That's great. And now next up, we have our Director of Student Engagement, Ms. Laura Rezik. She is going to talk to you about what I like to refer to as all the fun stuff, the parts that I loved most about college. And I know that she's really excited to tell you what we have to offer at TrueCare. So Lauren, I'll throw it over to you and we'll match up the PowerPoint and you can take it away. Awesome. Thank you so much, Molly. I appreciate it. Again, my name is Laura and I'm Director of Student Engagement here at TrueCare College. Our office is here to ensure that students have a memorable, purposeful, and meaningful experience. We're a little bit different than other colleges as we don't have any residence halls or athletics, but our activities definitely make up for it. So we do offer, next slide. So we do offer a variety of programs and activities to help students as they transition into college. Our office oversees the orientation. It is an online orientation to help everyone who comes into TroCare know everything before they come through. That will help them, you know, prepare them as they enter TroCare College and learn different forms they need to submit, as well as different resources. We have eight clubs and organizations, which I'll talk about later. Our office also oversees the different student engagement spaces. As you can see on the left side of the screen, um, we do have a back foyer area, a commons area, and different areas that we have activities. Um, we also host multicultural heritage celebrations each month, focusing on different um, cultures, backgrounds, observances. We are very excited and happy to promote awareness and educational opportunities. We also focus on veteran engagement. So students who have served in the armed forces or are on active duty reserves, we also help them. And then we also offer cultural competency certificate program and a leadership certificate program. Next slide. So when on campus, so since we are virtual, we are working virtually right now, but when you see us on campus, our office is super red. So you'll see us by the big red wall. Um, you can find us there, next slide or you can find us in any of the three kind of core engagement areas on campus. So we do have a back foyer area, a large commons area, which is kind of like our own little student union per se. Um, we do have a lot of seating area for students to come in, sit down, um, enjoy some Tim Hortons coffee or a snack from the hospital, or sometimes they bring food from outside areas in, um, especially our food trucks who are awesome. We have wonderful food trucks that we request to come on campus during the days. So students can get some food from our local food trucks. Um, it's super exciting. Our commons area, again, is a very um, key place for our activities here on campus. Um, in the back of our commons, we have a stage area with a gallery. It's more quiet seating for students. And then for students who want even more quiet study rooms, we do offer four study rooms that can be reserved. Other popular areas around campus are different um, computer labs, um, the library, of course, um, as well as little like hidden cubbies around campus. So we also have a veterans lounge too. Next slide. So some of our traditions, um, as Maya was talking about earlier, um, we do offer a lot for our students and we're very student focused to make sure that all students are taken care of as well as coming into TroCare, making sure that that transition is easy for them. 
So during the first week of the semester, we offer Welcome Week, both in our spring semester as well as our fall semester. Um, we have an involvement fair, which we have different clubs and organizations featured at. We have some Welcome Back socials. We have a Welcome Back barbecue, um, everything to make sure that you're successful. So during that involvement fair, resource fair, we have different offices that come in that help show you their services, as well as provide areas on, hey, if you're struggling, you can come see us and you get to match the face to a name. We also offer different family friendly activities throughout the semester, um, such as family day. If you don't have a family or have some friends you want to bring to show care to say, hey, um, this is my college, check it out. Um, they're more than welcome to come with you. Um, we love our families and we love their students with children too. So we have works with Santa, we have Halloween activities, um, some spring activities too. We are very collaborative with our student parent club. So we're very excited to have these activities available to our students. We also have different holiday celebrations too. So we do a, now decorating our commons in a tree, as well as a stressless week during the end of the semester to help students decompress as they take their final exams, because nothing is worse than being stressed out and having all these things to juggle. So we wanna make sure that we have the calm before the finals. And then lastly, something that we just added this year with the virtual um, element, we do have our celebrating our graduates. So it is a virtual celebration to celebrate all the accomplishments and great achievements of our graduates. Next slide. So I was talking about the clubs and organizations earlier. We do have a student association and several other clubs. So we do have program specific clubs as well as other clubs. Our Infinity Club is more focused on diversity and our students of color here on campus. They've spearheaded our Black History Month celebration and other um, cultural activities on campus as well as being great advocates for our C3 certificate program. We do have our Veteran Student Association, our Surge Tech Club, Massage Therapy Club, Student Parent Club, our Rad Tech Club, and our Student Nursing Association. If there's a club that you don't see, you can always come to our office and say, hey, I want to start up a club and we'll get you started. So we really encourage students to get involved to stay connected with their classmates and people from other majors. So it's really exciting. You can always see fundraisers around campus. There's always food somewhere, um, as well as other opportunities for students to really strengthen their leadership skills and really help leave a legacy at TroCare. Next slide. Going more on the multicultural events. So we do offer, again, those multicultural um, events during each month. So this month is Pride Month. So we will be featuring an online gallery for our students as well as others to check out. Uh, we do feature on campus a gallery. So the first picture behind the like screen is our gallery area. So we do have different galleries of influential people from different cultural backgrounds featured each month as well as different opportunities. We do trivia, we do gatherings, we do an opening ceremony, closing ceremony. Um, this past year, we've done Latinx Heritage Month, Indigenous People's Heritage Month, Black History Month, Women's History Month, and more. Um, we also do observe different holidays and other cultural observations and make sure students feel welcome here on campus. And then through this, we further our education and awareness through our C3 program, which leads us to talking more about, next slide how we serve our students. So, you know, being on campus, you're coming in, you're trying to navigate the waters, you're taking many classes. Um, we're really hired to make sure that you're informed and making sure that you understand what's happening around campus and keeping in the loop. Um, some of our special populations that we cater, cater to through our office are student parents. So again, student parent club, family programming, and then our veterans um, who do spearhead the veteran um, support club, veteran student association. Um, they do a veterans lounge here on campus, which they're very excited to have. It's a space where they can come in, decompress, and really find time to really just get their studies done and focus. Um, we are yellow ribbon school. So with the GI bill, there's different stipulations and funding. So you can find more information on that through the financial aid office. Next slide. Going back to that C3 certificate program, we do offer two non-credit bearing certificates. Um, so the C3 cultural competency, it is composed of three core workshops, an introduction, an intermediate, and a racial justice kind of dialogue panel, as well as five elective different opportunities for students to participate in. It's really exciting. We do have different dialogues talking about everything from gender, sexism, um, LGBTQ, um, faith, spirituality, um, we really want to make sure that students are informed as they cater to different populations in healthcare and beyond. 
We also encourage continuous reflection and application of the information that they learn. Our leadership certificate program is a little bit newer and we do have five core workshops. We allow students to come to a conference with us, which is super exciting. And we do offer a leadership program where students can really work on developing what they want to do and see more of what they can do more at Trail Care and beyond the community. Next slide. So with that being said, um, if you want to check out us more, um, you can visit us on our webpage, um, troker.edu slash student dash activities. You can also check us out on Facebook as well as our Instagram accounts. Um, with that, does anyone have any questions? Thank you so much, Lauren. That You're welcome. That is wonderful. I always love hearing about that. So many exciting opportunities for everybody. Definitely. All right. So we wanted you all to have the opportunity to hear from some of our students. So we have a short little video that we're going to play. Um, and then we'll end things up with uh, different ways that you can connect with us. And we'll talk a little bit about application. And then we'll end our session with you. So if we could start that video. What is your story? Everyone has a story, a story of triumph and challenge. In challenge, we find out who we really are and what we are made of. Don't give up, never give up. Success is not given, it is earned. You have to give it your all and there's no cutting corners and it was so worth it in the end. With willpower, hard work, and not settling for what comes easy. You, you will get there. What matters is your level of commitment and the passion that you have. Unlock your potential. We really grew in so many ways. You want to learn more every single day. I mean, this, this college will take you anywhere. Find what drives you. ProCare definitely allows you to explore all different fields, which is nice, because then you get to see what you want to do after graduation. I just have a passion for helping people. That's what motivates me, is to help people. Realize your ambition. You can do anything. It was just like one of those aha moments, like I'm in the right spot, I'm in the right place, and this is what I need to be doing. I've always had a connection to helping others and being in that health restorative process. And just an overall sense of duty to humanity and trying to figure out a way to incorporate that into a career and a daily life. Trocare College can be a part of your story. The part where knowledge meets passion and finds success. Your success. The transformation that Trail Care provides is uh, incredible. Learn more to do more. I love being here and I feel like every day that I come to Trail Care, I grow. Make a difference for you and for the world. Yeah, this is my calling. I mean, this, there's nothing else that I would rather do than be a nurse and to help people. Academics. It's a never ending learning environment. So we're all students together and that collective, collaborative learning environment really shows through everything that we do here. Community. I've made some really great friends here at Trail Care. We've all become like sisters going into this program. Some of my best friends are my classmates. A community of caring. There's a culture of caring uh, within Trail Care. Uh, and that, that can be seen in every aspect of Trail Care. From the time you walk into the open house just to find out the information until the day that you walk across the stage with your diploma. Careers of achievement, lives of purpose. Apply now. This is where it begins. All right. Thank you so much. So we're just about to end up. And I wanted to just take a couple minutes to tell you about our application process, which I like to believe is pretty quick and painless. Our applications are free. You can apply online. We also have paper applications and we do not require the SAT or ACT. So that's good news to hear. And if you do have taken the SAT or ACT, you can submit your scores and we'll simply look at your scores to determine class placement. Um, but again, it's not part of the admission decision. We offer rolling admission and we are actually still accepting students for this fall. So 
If you're thinking maybe you want to stay a little bit closer to home right here in Western New York this fall, we would love to have you and we are still taking applications. And our applications are open for next fall, fall 21, as Danielle and Kelly mentioned. And for some of those uh, more competitive programs, I do encourage you to apply earlier, uh, just so you can get on our list and we can get everything um, underway for you to make sure that uh, a spot is available to you for those more competitive programs. Um, as I mentioned, we do offer a placement test, but a lot of times students are able to get an exemption from the placement test based on um, some of the coursework they're doing in high school or college, or also, of course, uh, submitting those SAT or ACT scores just for placement test exemptions. Um, and then we encourage you to meet with us. Uh, right now, we're doing all of our interviews virtually, and they're working out great. Anytime you'd like to chat with an admissions counselor or myself, we invite you to do so. Um, we can certainly fit it within your schedule, and it's a great way to get to know each other and connect and really dive into uh, providing more information about some of the academic programs that you might be interested in, whether it's more statistics like uh, placement rates or different job opportunities, or you'd like to actually see the courses you'd be taking and find out each semester, what are the classes that you need to do? Um, we can go over all of those things and we would really love that opportunity. And of course, hopefully we will get to see you on campus soon and show you around all of the places that you saw in today's pictures and video presentations. And of course, there's so much more to show everybody. Next slide. I also know that affording your college education is on everybody's mind. Um, making sure that um, you don't go into a lot of debt when you go to college and that when you come out, you're able to get that high paying job and have a career. And then if you do have any student loans, you're able to pay those back. And we really pride ourselves on making a true care education an affordable one. Um, we are the most affordable private college here in Western New York. We participate in a number of different state and federal grant and loan programs. Uh, you've heard about Say Yes. You know that we participate with that and we have spots available for students. You know that we also participate in the HEOP program through New York State, um, TAP, PAL, all those different types of grants are available. And we have a whole office of financial aid counselors that would love to work with you and help you navigate this process because I know it can be daunting, but it doesn't have to be because we're here to help you. Um, so we have lots of different ways to afford to repair. And um, again, our counselors in the financial aid office also can meet with you and uh, work with you through virtual meetings or in person when that time comes to make sure that you understand everything you need to do for financial aid and make sure that this option is an affordable one for you. Next slide. And last but certainly not least, uh, aside from joining us today, there are a bunch of other events coming up. Um, as Kelly mentioned, we have a nursing programs virtual information night via Zoom. It's June 10th next week at 6 p.m. It's just one hour. And then we also have our imaging programs that Danielle mentioned coming up the following week at 6 p.m. as well. And then uh, we also have a virtual express admissions and registration that's going to be taking place over three days and students will be able to sign up for a day that they're interested in and then we'll fit everything in that they need to do from meeting with an admissions counselor to doing your orientation online and even meeting with an academic advisor all from the comfort and safety of your own home. So we make it super easy for you to enroll at your care. Um, you can RSVP for events at the link provided. And then certainly uh, not to be forgotten is all the different ways that you can connect and follow with us. We have our Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and they're all pretty easy to find. It's just Trocare College, <laughs> as you can see there. Um, but we love to post sto uh, stories about our students and different things that are going on around campus, as well as events. So I would definitely encourage you to follow us. And at this time, I would love to open it up to any questions anybody has. We're here to answer them for you. And amazingly, it's three o'clock right on the nose. So we kept it right within our time frame. And um, does anyone have any questions? Actually, we do have some questions. Um, we have some really great questions, actually. Um, you guys mentioned the massage therapy program and that it was a 10-month um, 
you can receive your certificate in 10 months. Is that a full-time program? And um, if so, is there a part-time option as well? Yes, to both. <laughs> so it is uh, 10 months to full-time, but students are also able to do a part-time program. And we offer, though it's a 10-month certificate, uh, some students want to also obtain an associate's degree and we have an option to stay on for, uh, I think it's another semester or two, to uh, keep doing your coursework. And then you can actually also get your associate's degree in massage therapy with your licensure um, needs that are met. Awesome. Also, it was asked, um, what was the job placement rate for the massage therapy program as well as the LPN and RN programs? Sure, so all of our placement rates uh, very obviously program to program. Um, as a college, um, overall, our placement rate is just around 80% for our programs, um, and it varies from year to year. Um, the LPN program, I think the last I heard, it was around um, in the high 60 percentile. And for the massage therapy program, it's near 100% placement rates. That's excellent. Um, Someone also wanted to know if you already had your bachelor's and wanted to go back to school for let's say the LPN or the RN program, would that be less classes you would have to take? Like how would that work? Yeah, that's a great question. One we certainly get all the time. And yeah, we try to be a transfer friendly institution. So we will carefully review all college courses that a student has taken to see if we can award them credit into their academic program. Um, oftentimes students with the bachelor's degree will have most if not all of their general education requirements completed and then they just have to do the nursing requirements or any science requirements for nursing classes. Um, an example of that would be like anatomy and physiology one. Sometimes that's not a part of someone's regular bachelor's degree so they will have to take it at TROCARE but oftentimes we can award quite a bit of credit <laughs> in the program. If I can add on to that, um, even though they may come in with a great deal of transfer credit, the nursing program builds on itself. So the RN program will still take a student for semesters. However, it, they may be lighter semesters. It may allow for the student to focus on their nursing courses if they're trying to also work part-time to fund their education um, by getting all those gen eds out of the way. But nursing itself, uh, the RN program will still be four semesters. Excellent. That's awesome to know. And you guys already talked about TROCARE being um, a transfer fr friendly college. Um, is the transfer prop, prop different than as coming in as an incoming freshman um, traditional student? I wouldn't say that it's different necessarily. I mean, we try to streamline our admission process for all students. So whether you're a new student or a transfer student, we try to make it, like I said, quick and easy. Um, and we also turn around admission decisions very quickly. Um, if a student has everything in, um, for most of our programs, we're able to turn it around within a week for a student. What I would say about transfer students is that we can provide credit evaluations uh, so that they can get an understanding of what credit is gonna come in and what will count and then how many courses will they have left to take as part of that decision-making process. So that's certainly important for students to know what they can get credit for and how that can apply to their future degree. And that's awesome, guys. Thank you so much for all of this information. It's been great. Um, I love the questions that everyone had for you guys. I think they were really spot on. And um, I'm sure that you'll be getting lots of questions and emails soon um, in regards to all your programs. Thank you for all your time. Um, as always, we'd like to remind everyone we're here for you and open for everyone. And please stay tuned. We have another live presentation at 3.30 with SUNY Erie. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.